Welcome back everybody. This is the 11th video in our series on how to make a chess engine from scratch in the Java programming language. We're focused on the Lego move generation for a pawn. In this video I'm going to talk about the uh, particular type of move for a pawn known as a pawn jump. Okay, so let's bring up the Wikipedia entry here. A pawn jump would be uh, you know, if we had, uh, if here we were in the initial position of a chessboard, and the let's say the pawn on d2 uh, could make one move to d4, assuming that d3 and d4 are not occupied, and that it is indeed um, this pawn's first move. And once he makes that move, he can't make it again. And uh, the same applies to for black's pieces. Um, Right, so let's come back to our code here, and first let's do a little bit of cleanup. Let's declare these parameters as private, or excuse me, as final, uh, here, here, and here, and this local variable can be final as well. Nice cleanup. Um, okay, so else if the current candidate offset is equal to 16, which doesn't exist yet. We're going to add it right now to our candidate move coordinate that we loop through here, the body of this for loop. Um, and there's going to be some additional conditions here that we need to check for. Uh, first is whether it's a first move or not. So let's just, if this doesn't exist, this notion doesn't exist yet on a piece, but let's go ahead and stub it out. This dot is first move. And there's going to be a one more condition here. Let's just sort of stub this as true. Uh, I'll show you what I'm, I'm just sort of creating a tautology here. It's just a stub that I'm going to fill out or some other condition. All of these conditions are met. Then we can uh, do a little bit more work in here to see if we indeed can do a pawn jump. So first let's, let's I talk about this method is first move. We want to add that on to the piece class. Let's create a member field for all pieces called protected final boolean is first move. And for now, let's just go ahead and say this dot is first move is equal to false. And I'm going to put this is another to do in the code here creating some technical debt to do more work here right but for now this is fine and we're going to create another method on here called public boolean is first move return this dot is first move okay okay so we've now got that although it doesn't really mean anything yet well we'll fix that later um, the next thing that we want to check for is whether um, when we're white we want to check to make sure that we're on this row down here and when we're black we want to check to make sure that we're on this row up here and so um, you know just like how in board utils uh, we created a first column second column seventh column and eighth column we're going to need to initialize uh, rows as well. So let's just for now declare public static final boolean um, second row and is equal to null. Okay, we'll get to it later. And public, oops, public static final boolean array seventh row is equal to null. Okay, we'll come back and implement this in a, a future video. Uh, but for now, let's just assume that it exists similar to these columns that we have up here. Okay, so what we want to say is that if you are on the second row, so board utils dot second row of this 
Piece position. And the and your black. Okay, so um, this dot get piece alliance dot. We could do an equality check, but why don't we take the time to introduce a method called is black and okay. So this is getting pretty long here. I'm gonna I'm gonna move that over. All right. So if you're on the second row and you're black or oops or if you're on the seventh row and you're white okay and so if <clears throat> if this condition is true so let's go ahead it's complaining right now that these methods don't exist let's go ahead and create them on alliance right this will be really easy to do public abstract is white public abstract boolean is black Okay, so let's create these methods for both white and black. So for white, is white returns true, and is black returns false, and for black, is white returns false, and is black returns true. Cool. So now, now that that entire condition is that we can come down here and the next thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that oop, sorry wrong window um, we want to make sure that um, that the square behind the destination square is not occupied okay so um, if we were looking at the e2 pawn we would want to make sure that the e3 square is unoccupied and that would if that condition were true and all of the other conditions that we just checked then we could um, and, and e4 is not occupied then we can sort of jump up here to e4 okay so right <clears throat> so let's say let's declare another local variable final int behind candidate destination coordinate is equal to your current position plus this dot piece we know how to do this we just did this in the last video times eight right uh, oops if that Right, so what we want to say is if board dot get tile of the behind candidate if that's not occupied um I guess we're not done there, right? We want to say if that's not occupied and Or dot get tile of the candidate destination coordinate is not occupied as well. So let's clean this up. This is a really long line of code. Right now that reads a little bit more cleanly. If the behind candidate's not occupied and the destination candidate is not occupied, now we have enough to know that we can say, now we can just do what we did here. Right? 
legalmoves.add and let's do let's take the opportunity to clean that up um, right so and this is a stub obviously we're gonna you'll see we'll make some transformations and add more specific types of moves specific specific to a pawn um, but yeah that is about it we introduced a couple new methods we did some cleanup here um, but that sh that that pretty much covers it um, coming back here to the uh, normal pawn move uh, you'll see here that we need to deal with um, we, I said to do more work to do here but I didn't specify what we need to do we need to um, deal with promotions okay so we're not going to do that here in this video but um, that is indeed what we're going to do and uh, yeah so we've made good progress here the only things that we have to deal with now are the attack moves and en passant and the promotions um, and uh, we should be good with the pawn so uh, looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video where we will continue our journey on uh, calculating the pawn's legal moves thanks guys